Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Theory Crafting and I didn't do one yesterday because I was editing uh, the tea parties of episode 3. And this episode's called The Three Kings, which is weird because the Three Kings were barely even in it. But um, it starts off with the news, and the news is all talking about how, oh, the whole world's going crazy, oh, there's big disputes between everybody all over the place all the time. Well, not all the time. Just, just now. Just now in the story, a whole bunch of conflicts break out all over the globe all at the same time between all the different places on the earth and that's real bad and while the news is saying this it goes back and forth between uh, the news and different shots of people like it goes to uh, the Egyptian girl I was going to say Rethabile but Rethabile is one of the she's one of the people with the arm things that flies around. Why can't I think of words right now? Um, yeah, the Egyptian one. Here, I'm going to pause the recording and look up the name, and I'm going to feel stupid when I come back and know what it is. Her name is Sashat, and she's talking to some guy in a black suit, and they're talking about how, oh, everything's going to plan. And then there's also a cut of the Jestress tongue to the Three Kings, and the Jestress is saying, Wow, there's a lot going on, and a lot of new information in the news. And the Three Kings are all like, Ah, uh, there's nothing new here because we already know what's. We wrote it, and they're just saying what we wrote. And then it also cuts. The final cut is to Meow's dad, Tojiro, Mi Tojiro Mitake. And he's having a conversation with the same guy he was having a conversation with in the last episode. And they're just talking about how, oh, everything's going to plan to. But uh, he also gives uh, uh, some secrets to Tojiro. Gives secrets to the other guy. And he, he tells him that he should sell off all the stocks and the AMS because uh, they're all going to go kablooey. And uh, all, all the old rich people are just trying to use this whole global conflict as a cash grab. And then the whole rest of the f chapter is about Jaden and Meow's date. And uh, it's, it's pretty funny because uh, they're all in there in both all the boys from all the factions are in Jaden's head and all the girls from all the factions are in Meow's head and they're both given a whole bunch they're all giving uh advice on what they should be doing on the date and uh it all gets ends up getting jumbled because of how many people there are giving advice and it's a it's funny uh, the only, uh, th this scene introduces, well, it's something that some people might have already been thinking once they found out that Meow has multiple personalities and is also a girl, uh, but the, it, it, this is the first time when the story has explicitly talked about the mystery and brought it up, the mystery of what sex Meow was born as and what uh, sex organs Meow has at the time and so I'm gonna say that I think it's uh, I think it's girl just because there's a scene later where Meow says well it's either Prophet Meow or one of the Meows I don't know there's a lot of Meows I just remember it was a little while ago when I read it. I read it all right when it came out. So, but later on, there's a point where Meow says that Jaden isn't. It's not something that will bother Jaden. Uh, the answer. So I'm assuming that Meow really is a a woman, and that's pretty interesting. 
Uh, it goes into there's a real there's a lot of funny stuff in this about uh, JoJo's bizarre barbecue. Uh, going to do a JoJo flip on the grill and stuff. That that's in. There's a lot of funny stuff in this whole story, but yeah, that's. I I I really like this scene just because of how funny it is. But. Uh, I did think that around the middle, when I started doing this theory crafting, the Sokonia episodes, a lot of them were like, some of them got to like half an hour of my theory crafting. I did know that around the middle, they get a lot shorter like this. Like, I've only been recording for five minutes, but that's because I, I don't think as much happens in the middle. I think that once it gets closer to the end, they're going to get pretty long again. But I think that a lot of the stuff in the middle is just, like, repeating stuff. Uh, if I missed anything in this one, then uh, you can tell me. But, uh, yeah, I don't think there's very much other than the mystery of Meow's biological sex. And I already I already talked about that pretty, pretty well. Okay. Uh, oh! It's not all funny because they also they also talk about um, how lots of countries still don't believe in uh, that people should be allowed to be together regardless of gender, and that uh, there's lots of countries even in a hundred years that where same sex marriage is outlawed, and it, it does a, pr a pretty crazy discussion about that too, and that's interesting if you're interested in those sorts of things. I'm not sure if that has much to do with the mystery and stuff, though. So I'll talk to you later.